more now on that plane crash. The FAA is saying that that airplane never actually left the ground and went right through a fence before bursting into flames. I want to get right out to WBZ's Paul Burton. He is live at Hanscom Air Base tonight, where that plane was supposed to land this afternoon. Paul? And David, obviously that plane never made it here, and I can't even begin to imagine the fear and horror the passengers on board that plane must have been feeling when it went up in flames. And it's amazing when you look at this video that no one was killed. A terrifying fiery wreckage of a plane on a private runway in Houston. Incredibly, everyone on board was able to escape. They were stunned. They were very, very stunned, but they did all self-extricate. We can't tell you how, how they did that or in what method, uh, and the plane was fully involved when we arrived. Safety officials say the plane was carrying 21 people, 18 passengers, including a 10-year-old child and three crew members. The group was supposed to be attending the ALCS game at Fenway Park tonight, but it never got off the ground. This plane was actually uh, attempted to take off, but in a rolling state right here at the Houston Executive Airport here in Waller County, and uh, never was able to uh, take flight. The actual airplane uh, rolled down the run run runway, uh, struck an actual fence, and from there uh, became disabled. Investigators say the plane was trying to take off around 10 a.m. in Walker County, Texas, just outside of Houston. The plane is owned by a Texas corporation. Sources tell WBZ-TV the plane was heading to Hanscom Field in Bedford. We're not sure really why it caught on fire. Not sure if it was because it hit the structure, but we all waited on the FAA. Anytime you have a, a plane that doesn't make a, uh, a landing uh, on the runway like it should, we're always... Uh, expecting the worst but hoping for the best and today we absolutely positively got the best outcome we could hope for in this incident officials say two people two passengers were actually taken to the hospital with minor injuries but they are expected to be okay the plane crash remains under investigation we're live in bedford i'm paul burton wbz news